Come on, I need him to swing. Go. Okay, go sock again into Raviel. Come on, sacrifice. I'm just gonna leave it activated in defense mode. Lightning. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jack Spell Car, episode 9. If you guys watched the previous episode, we beat it Abidos to Dud, we beat it Titan, we beat it Amnel, who's the final Shadow Rider, who's revealed to be Professor Banner. And we also beat it Atticus. And now, we're gonna be taking on this exclamation point, which was supposed to be shipping Atticus with Ch- not Atticus, shipping Chaz with Alexis. But before we do that, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below. But new channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notification when I post up new videos. And also go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links in the description below. Now with all that said and done, let's go talk to this exclamation point. Sorry to keep you waiting. What is it, Atticus? What's going on here? Oh, Aubrey. You're both great duelists. Why don't you two duel? I don't feel like it at the moment. Don't be like that. Hold on a minute. Why are you all arguing? We're not arguing, Chaz. I'm just trying to see if Alexis and Aubrey are perfect for each other. What? What, what are you talking about, Atticus? What? No way! No fair! Not fair. Chaz, you want to duel too? Yeah, of course. Okay, whoever wins gets to go on a day with Alexis. A Atticus, stop being ridiculous. I agree to the contest. I never said yes. You don't want to go on a day with me. I'm telling you now, I won't be good company. I'll take my chances. <sighs> Alexis, these two are going to give it all for give it all just for you. Let's start the duel in love. Alright, Chaz with Loser of Losers. <laughs> That's probably the best name of deck of all time. Loser of Losers. <laughs> Such a loser. Alright. Let's see what we got for our opening hand. Oh, we got a good hand, so. So let's start off with Command. Not Command. Actually, yeah, we're gonna start off with Command Knight. Actually, just kidding. We're starting with Modern Captain. Ha! <laughs> We're gonna modern captain right into gear fleet. And we're gonna see what Shaz can do. Alright. And my turn. Let's see what you got. You set level limit area B. Heavy storm. Bingo. See ya. Bow. Pow. Pow. Oh yeah, he wants like a fucking burn deck, which I already told you before how much I really dislike burn decks, so... That basically says everything. We're just gonna equip a Meteor Quatch as well to Axe later. Because we gotta finish Chaz off as fast as possible. So uh, we don't have to worry about his bone cards. So go! 1600 damage right to the face. Pow! And now take a 1200. And take an 1800 right to the face as well. So you're down to Jody 400. So, what you got, Chaz? Heavy Storm. He sets. Okay. Mirror Force, but I gonna do anything in this duel. Swing with Gear Fleet. Ojama Green. Okay. 1700 right to the face. Ah. 
and I'll finish him. Five turns! Five turns against Chaz's uh, really annoying burn deck. So, did not fight hard, Chaz. 158 XP. And 193 X dual points as well. It's over. I've lost a duel. My heart is shattered. The Chaz has lost his heart. Whoa, holy crap. What's happening to this island? This is not good. Ah, this bear gay key. My key too. All keys are flying away. Let's go find out where it's going. I think we have to leave to... Yeah. I'm actually going to go save and meet you guys back here. One hour later. Okay, we're going to be going over here to the Seven Spell Gates. And let's go. How could this have happened? I thought all the Shadow Riders were defeated. Everyone, calm down. Let's think about this rationally. Your keys fly away too? Flew away too? Yes, and we followed them here. I didn't know keys could fly. Maybe you should teach a class on that. Ha! Savage! <laughs> are these the seven spell gates? The gates are open. And look over there. In the center are the three sacred beast cards. I don't understand. All the Shadow Riders have been defeated. How could the gates open? I have a bad feeling about this, but now I have a horrible feeling. Our first priority is to get those sacred beast cards to safety. Alexis, right. Yes, let's get them. Those cards do not belong to you. Who's that? What's wrong, Shepard? Have you forgotten my voice? It can't be. Superintendent Kagamaru! Holy crap, the superintendent! The superintendent? And it's an old man in a tube. The time has come for me to resurrect the three sacred beasts. Resurrect them? How did they get spell gates open on their own? Because I built them. I was the one who sealed the sacred beast cards. I was the one who gave the keys to Chester Shepherd. It was all me. What? In order to resurrect the sacred beasts, they need to feed on incredible dueling energies. That's why I had the Shadow Riders duel you, to flood the island with dual energy. And after all those intense battles, it, the sacred beasts are ready to awaken, as well as their hidden power. Hidden power? The power of eternal life and world domination. I can't believe you used us. As if you could have stopped me. Oh, stop you. No, leave this to me. I've already chosen my opponent. Many of you have strong dueling spirits, but there's one that stands out. Aubrey, I choose you. The same Pokemon, man. Once you're ready, we shall battle. I will go save so that I don't have to do this cutscene anymore. Two hours later. Now let's go back to the seven spell gates and be enter. Let's go. So get ready. Aubrey, this is not like the battles with the other Shadow Riders. The three sacred beasts are too powerful to see away the regular duel. You must first make Kagamaru summon a sacred beast. You must deplete all of his life points after he summons a sacred beast during the duel. Well, we all know the drill. He's gonna have to summon Haman in this duel. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so like I said, Haman mostly relies on continuous spells. But anyways, the sacred beasts, I actually generally like them more than the Egyptian gods. But they're not great of cards, personally. I know they just recently, at the time of this recording, got support. And they also got their own structure deck. So they have that going for them, but that's really uh, about it. So our main priority to deal with Kagamaru is, again, we have to have him summon out his sacred beast monster. 
So which means we're gonna be stalling with this guy. Spell absorption. Toll. Vengeful Bog Spirit. Yep, we're gonna have to be Warrior to not Warrior to Queen, Ultimate Offering here. I will actually get rid of. I'll actually get rid of Vengeful Bog Spirit so that I can be able to attack. Summon Goblin Attack Force, Flip Summon Command Knight. We're gonna Ultimate Offering. Summon Gear Fleet. Crit Fairy Meteor Crush to Goblin Attack Force. And let's go. We're gonna have to pay some Life Points, but that's perfectly fine. Because we could do a good amount of damage, which is 500. For 2200 damage. And our attack once again. For 1600. Okay, your move. Go sarcophagus into Haman. Okay. Once he gets Haman out, we're actually looking pretty nice right now. The dark door. At this point it doesn't really matter because he's just gonna get to his Haman anyway, so I will have to switch all my stuff to defense mode in case that does happen. So, go ahead, make your move. Use 100 life points for Master of Peace. Toll. DA forces, we are gonna activate that. And just end our turn. He's gonna get Haman right out, so once we do that, we can just hope he sends away the stuff which prevents me. Oh, no. You know, you should have got rid of fucking Messenger of Peace right there because basically now he's just gonna be preventing himself from attacking. So now, now that he summoned Haman out, we can just basically. Essentially, now we can just beat him. But the issue is, he's just going to keep paying with Messenger of Peace now. Do we still have Heavy Storm? No, we still can get it. We just have to hope we and pray we can draw it. Kill on the Mage. Spear Reaper. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Eh, sure thing. I'll let you take Goblin Attack Force out. Nah. Draw. Gear free. Messenger of Peace is just so annoying of a card. Like, oh my god, that card is so obnoxious. A so a priestess. A priest. If we heavy storm here, then we're gonna lose all of our stuff, but. We're gonna need to find some way to get rid of that Messenger of Peace. Or oh, he has to summon out another Haman. Crap. Mm. 
You know what? I think I'm skipping ahead. Actually, hold on. We're gonna see if we actually get something. Yeah, we're gonna have to ditch Axe Waiter and Axe Waiter again. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back here once something actually does happen. Alright, so he finally got rid of his Haman, or not Haman, Messenger of Peace, to finally summon out his second Haman. Thank God, because I just want to get that freaking card out of the way. So now with Messenger of Peace gone, we are going to take a thousand points of damage, but that's perfectly fine. So I think we can do it. So let's see. Morning, Captain. Into Gear Fleet. We're gonna pretty much a burial. Well, actually, we're gonna pretty much a burial for a Morning Captain. To create the attack lock. We're going to activate Metal Morph to give it to a Command Knight. Switch it to Attack Mode. We're going to use Axe of Despair on Spear Reaper just to destroy it. No. Now let's go. The 20 with the one with Metal Morph, we're gonna swing over Haman. Use Command Knight to attack here on the Mage. We're gonna use Morning Captain to attack the set, which is Marshmallow. Which, oh man, that's gonna be really obnoxious. And there's nothing we can do except end our turn. But we did get a Haman off the field, so that's actually a really good thing. Yep. We're gonna have to use the one with Metal Morph to attack the other Haman to get that off the field. So good. Now we're doing really well here. Attack the Sap Monster, which is Gear Golem. Okay, my plan after this is that I will actually use Heavy Storm, which will destroy a Morning Captain, but we are going to go Exiled Force here just to get rid of his Set. Not Set, get rid of his Marshmallow, for that matter. We're going to Rota into a Doug Command Knight. For more attack damage, we are gonna heavy storm here. Summon Exiled Force uses a fact to destroy Marshmallow. Okay, if he has a set monster, it's gonna be like. A Sora Priestess, Dee Dee Warrior Lady. Okay, that's good. Because while Morning Captain is going to get banished, at least it wasn't Command Knights. So we can still get our 400 attack puff damage. And I think that's it for Kagamaru. For the first round anyways. 1400. 2600. Yep. There we go. Okay, Haman deck down. And 213 XP. You can actually beat him constantly just to rank up on XP points so that you could basically level up. Because he does give you more XP for leveling up. But we're not going to do that. So anyways. You did it, Aubrey. <laughs> not yet. The strength of all the spirits still flow into my body. Even though you defeated Haman, 
I still have two sacred beasts left. And he became all buff. Yes. He's transforming. How do you like me now? I'm like, I am unstoppable. <laughs> I will actually go back and save up and I'll meet you guys back here once again. Three hours later. Now after going back to save, we're coming back here to the Seven Spear Gates. To me, Kagamaru, now in his buff form. How do you like me now? I am unstoppable. I will crush you. <laughs> King of Blazing Inferno, back to Uriah. Alright, Uriah Dak. He mostly wants continuous trap cards to gain tons of attack points off the traps in the graveyard by a thousand points. So we are going to go more in Captain into Command Knight here in Defense Mode. I'm going to give more in Captain the Axe of Despair. So let's see what you got, Kagamo. Breaker the Magical Warrior. Oh, he's definitely gonna use its effect to destroy Axe of Despair. Yep. I actually would, funny enough. Because Morning Captain's just gonna die anyway, so... Actually, wait. He has the same amount of attack photos I'm thinking. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Alright, we are gonna set Axe of Despair here. And swing for damage. Which is 600 points of damage. Right there. Alright. What do you got? Slate Warrior. Stronghold the Moving Fortress. Yep, we're just gonna destroy Fairy Box. Okay. You know what's funny? I actually want him to put tons of traps in the graveyard so that I could actually use the Amazon of Swordswoman effect. Come on. Send traps to the graveyard. Come on, do it. Do it. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's bad. That's really bad. Alright, Mirror Force. We got a strategy right here. I'm gonna do tons of damage to Marshmallow if these fairy boxes fail. Even though, unfortunately, I think they're gonna destroy. Okay. Got the 1800 points of damage off. We are gonna just attack here. We're gonna leave Martin, not Martin Captain, Command Knight in defense mode. And see what else we can do. And see you again, please. Alright, pay your 500 light points. Okay, here it is. Okay, come on. Destroy my, destroy my Axe of Despair. Destroy it. Destroy it. Do it, do it, do it. Yes! Woo! No! Damn it. But, that's fine. Mirror Force. Boom! Stronghold the Moving Fortress. We are gonna have Captain into Exile Force this time. And we're going to get that marshmallow on right off the field. So, let's go do that. So, see ya. Destroy Stronghold the Mirror Fortress. Whatever the, that card's name is with the gadgets. 16 hut. Oh. Actually, hot. Next turn, we got Amazon Swordswoman combo. Let's do that.
Wobby Goblin. We are going to summon Amazon Swordswoman here. And just attack for 1100 damage. Main phase 2, I am going to switch Martin Captain to defense mode. Just in case he does get out another Uriah. Gold Sock. Yep, he's going to banish for Uriah again. United we said actually I think we got it. I think United we stand's actually enough. Yep, fifty three hundred. Boom. Destroy metal reflex slime. Mining captain. And Command Knight gets the win. That's Kagamo for the round two out of the way. Okay. Now that just leaves Raviel. Did he do it? The power of the secret beast is incredible. I'm still rejuvenating. Yes. He became younger again! How do you like me now? I am once again unstoppable! And I'm gonna go back and say... So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. After saving for like the fourth time in a row, we're coming right back here to the Seven Spell Gates. So far, it's been child's play. It's time I become King Serious. I still have the most powerful sacred beast card in my hand. I will finish this! Alright. <laughs> Shimmering Silverway. Yep. Time for Raviel, which in order to get Raviel out, he needs to tribute three fee monsters. Also, this music. This is also the last time you get to hear this theme in the game, which is pretty sad. That's bad. Oh! He's getting come on not come on. Why have you out? He's getting it out now. Yep. I think we actually are gonna lose here if we don't top deck something good. Come on, give me something good. Yeah. Yep, I'll meet you guys back once we start a new game. Okay, round two against Kagamaru. For the Raviel deck. Okay, that was very unfortunate circumstances. So let's see what he's got this time around. I will graceful charity here. 
Stitch, Wild and Cap, not Wild and Captain Gift with the Iron Knight, and a copy of Acts of Despair. We're going to use reinforcements of the army for Command Knight. The eight forces here. The eight forces again. Mighty Captain into Command Knight. And I will get some damage off. Or bait out his trap cards. Which mill force. But at least I did bait it out. So that's a good thing. Speed Sanctuary. Geo Crush. Wall of Illusion. Okay, no Haman yet. Not Haman. Why am I calling Raviel Haman? No Raviel yet. Yep, gonna pretty much a burial here. For a command knight. Summon goblin attack force. We are going to attack slate warrior with command knight. To do some damage. And we are going to attack goblin attack force with wall of illusion. Or wall of illusion with goblin attack force. Okay. Now that we're currently in a pretty good position. Breaker. I think he's going to destroy pretty much a burial. Which if he's smart, yeah. Summon Goblin Attack Force to swing over Breaker the Magical Warrior. But I really need him to summon out his Sacred Beast or else we might get destroyed here. Gold Sock. Okay, he's Gold Socking for another Rav Yell. Smashing ground, premature burial, slate warrior. Yep, we got some incoming attack force here, and hope and pray that he doesn't have anything to out it. Unfortunately, Fiend Sanctuary is going to get destroyed, so I'm going to summon Axe Raider. Set Metal Morph here. The token's gone. He's going to add Raviel to his hand. Summon Amazon a Swordswoman. Switch Axe Raider to Defense Mode. Use United We Stand. Equip it to Goblin Attack Force. Come on, I need him to swing. Go. Okay, go talk again. Into Raviel. Come on, sacrifice. I'm just going to leave it Axe in defense mode. Lightning. Round three. Okay. Round three. 
with Kagamo. This time, I think we can beat Raviel. This god, DA forces and Amazon swordswoman. We are gonna summon Goblin Attack Force here. Set Metal more. And that's it. Dust Tornado. Okay. That's fine. We use the A forces again. Or, or the A forces for like the first time in this round. Because I'm always stuttering on my words, but. This is just so stupid. I lost to Raviel three times. Actually, two times in a row. There. Okay. He's finally getting it out. I may be taking 4K to the face, but we got Raviel out. So now all we have to do is beat him. Protect on the Sanctuary to his hand. We're going to take a big amount, but that's fine. Exiled Force. Okay. Yep. To destroy Raviel. Then we're going to pretty much a burial. We gotta go Amazon Swordswoman. Like, that's probably our best choice. Gear Free's gonna get destroyed, and... I forgot the other one. Goblin Attack Force is gonna get switched into defense mode, so... Amazon is probably the best option at this point. Okay. So hopefully things actually do look up a bit better here. He's going to set a card face down. Rota. Okay. That's good. Rota into Command Knight. I'm more concerned with Mirror Force. So. We just got to hope it's not. Okay. Protect of the Sanctuary. That's fine. Sweet for 2,000. Okay, so... We might be looking up a bit better here. Breaker. He's gonna destroy... Premature Burial, knowing him. No, he's destroying Fairy Media Crush. Why would you do that? Goblin. Okay. Swing against Breaker here. But he's currently at 3,200. Or 3,200 for that matter. 2,500. In Command Knight, finish. Third time's the charm, as everyone says. <laughs> and that's our main boss for the game. An additional 213 XP. Okay, 256 experience, and that's it. Oh, uh, ugh, ugh, ah, uh, impossible. How could my sacred beast be destroyed? You did it, Aubrey. And he's reverting back to his old man self. Also, we can just unplug that tubes, and we can just kill him by then and there. This is my true form. I just wanted to be young again. Seeing you kids with such vigor, I wanted to go back to my younger, happier days. Aubrey, I think that duel with you must have restored my vigor. Next time, I get to duel you, okay? Which is never. <laughs> I will make sure to store the keys someplace where no one could ever find them. 
We're no longer in danger from the three sacred beasts. That's right. And this goes back to normal. I'm glad that the threat is all over. I can finally relax. Except I have a sack of papers to grade. <laughs> and of course, you gotta go with Whoa, so go door! <laughs> and honestly, I think that will wrap up for today's episode. Because we got to take care of Kagamaru. So if you guys do like the video for this final boss of the main story, like the video down below and all that. In the next episode, we're probably going to be doing something else, which I think we're going to be doing a school duel, not school duel, but a graduation match for one of our ca main characters. And we're going to hopefully take him down. So, until then, see you next time.